are sitting directly in the sun. Want to take a second to make an episode just about how important love is and kind of rehashing your love for each other because right now more than ever we are together in the same confined space as each other and it's been uh, a lot for some of us natural for others it's just a different time where you're at home a lot and you know i touched on the running vlog you might have kids be living with your parents you know there's all sorts of different energies kind of when we're not going to the workplace every day and kind of just coexisting in one space i think it's important to touch on just the energy you have to put into things to get the result you want out of things we've worked really hard on it we travel a lot or we did travel a lot so we are sometimes not together and then coming back together and enjoying the moments we had together or during the day when we're in New York City, we run around in meetings, workouts, you know, at the office, blah, blah, blah. We're not together all day really and we come together in the evening, enjoy each other. So there's a different balance now that we're kind of at a WFH, the work from home team. So our lives are definitely different. We're out here, which we're obviously super blessed to have this house out here in Long Island. We can come to the beach. We've been going on walks. We've been working out together. We've been having coffees in the morning together. We've been meditating together. At noon. At noon every day. We've been... Cooking together. Cooking so much together, running errands together. Sometimes apart though, because Brendan's very protective of me and he doesn't want me leaving the house. <laughs> That's true. We're doing all these things together and they can get pretty, you know, monotonous and pretty similar day after day. So you have to really inspire yourself and remember the little things you love about someone. You know, it's, I've been trying to mentally put myself back in, you know, the time I met Hannah and you know, all the little things that made me so excited then that you quickly forget when you spend time with someone, you gotta remind yourself of those things. That's so cute. Yeah, I mean, you know, and saying yes to things. Like there's some things normally in passing, I think you'd be like, you know, Hannah's like, pick up that bag. And I'm like, can you just grab it? It's right there. Like just do something that you wouldn't normally do and only would take you a second, but shows that you're taking time to think and care. Yeah, I would say also like, I've noticed that I've been practicing like, just a lot of patience and putting myself also in your position because there have been days and again we're talking about this like new reality that we're all in and there are days where I don't have any work to do and you are fully slammed and if I like ask something of you I'm like why would I even ask you that? I can just do it myself. You're super busy right now. You know, just like being really cognizant of like the positions that we're in because we also are hustling like very hard. Um, as you guys know, a lot of our income comes from like DJing and appearances and all of that's like out the door. So, you know, we've got to like really hustle right now and figure it out and figure out ways to get some income. And I need to be, um, you know, like Brendan just like really motivates me because he's always super on the hustle. And so when I see you on your computer all day, I know that you're frustrated. So I, I'm like, you know, like even today I was like, I knew you were going to eat. I knew you had worked out. And I was like, babe, let me make you a smoothie, you know? Yeah, and you were that like, was so thoughtful. you were like, oh, that would actually be amazing. And I knew like, you know, food was the last thing on your mind. So just like trying to be really like cognizant of where my partner is at helps me like with my own like behavior if that makes sense totally and I think that's important I think it just becomes quickly overlooked you know you you go through this life and care for yourself first because that's just what you innately do you think about you there's obviously those people out there who are just completely selfless and think about others I would say in general the majority of us think about you know ourselves first in our own health and our own goals and our own ways of living our own habits and then you start to cohabitate with someone when you start dating and you might move in and you have to you know check in with your own habits and your own weird ticks that you have around the house whether you're super organized or not whether you want a beauty cabinet or don't you know there's all these things that you have to find middle ground on and compromise is compromise key. is key such a good sentence and that's kind of easy when you're able to go about your day or have dinner with your friends and come home and you know you can always like find this happy middle ground because you're able to Take live this break. exterior life but now we're in a whole different zone where we're the breaks are few and far between so a you know i think one good tip is to just get out and get some self time no matter who you are you need mm -hmm. time to yourself whether you're going to go for a walk 
whether you're going to meditate by yourself, whether you're going to exercise, just read a book in a different room. Mm -hmm. You know, watch your own movie, fire up your Netflix, lie in bed, be like, I'm just going to do this. Take calls with your own people. Beyond that, finding things to do together that both bring you joy. You know, we really enjoy exercising. So exercising together is something, you know, we really love to do and want to continue to do. We love sharing a morning moment. So just having a coffee together is really nice and talking about the day, not being on your phones. Yeah. Watching something and just tuning out, you know, the talk about it, something, you know, a new conversation. And just taking advantage of really of those moments in your day that like do bring you joy. Like let's say like, you know, Brendan and I are working all day and then here comes five o'clock and you know, whether it's, all right, let's change the vibe of the house and Let's start a fire. Let's put on a cool soundtrack. Soundtrack. Let's open a bottle of wine. Like, you know, like just even having that moment where we're both just on the same page in a like a full vibe check is so really important. important. You know, there's nothing that kind of puts me in a bad mood more than being on different vibes. Like if I'm like trying to have a lazy morning and Brendan's, you know, trying to have a full on indoor workout, that's like, you know, that's like the last thing I want to hear or something. That scenario hasn't happened. But again, like when, I'm just saying like being on the same page is super important. And whether that means like you need to voice like, hey, I need some time like to myself. And so I've just, I mean, I've got the time. I'm just taking like an extra 10 minute long shower and it's just like an extra moment for myself, whether I'm like washing my hair or giving myself a little foot massage in the shower because that's what I like to do. Um, but yeah, just carving out moments for yourself and being able to vocalize that, again, allows you to be on the same page as your partner. It's not, I never take offense if Brendan's like, hey, I'm, I need to get out, go for a run, or, and Brendan never takes offense if I'm like, hey, I just need a sec, like, I'm gonna stay upstairs, like, can you do your thing downstairs? Like, there's no animosity, there's no judgment, it's just... Find your time. Yeah. Not to say we don't get in arguments, we're still normal people, we're still emotional, Things come up. Sometimes I'm thinking about doing something and I was like, hey, I really need you to do this right now. I'm like, not, not right now. Like, you know, and then you just gotta check yourself and be like, whoa, take a deep breath. We all have time. Just answer that in a different way. All will be fine. But of course we've learned these habits probably from our parents, probably from growing up, from other people around us and influences. So just to take that moment and zen out, be like, okay, I can definitely handle this in a better way. I think tone is so important. You know, you could get mad or you could say the same thing in a really nice way and it can come off so elegantly. We, the conversation and the feeling can just move on. We have a policy in our home. We never say shut up. We do not say shut up. And, and what so, happens if I say it? If you say it, <laughs> if you say it or if I say it, we say you have to take that out of the universe. Yes, you gotta pull it right back. We are firm believers that you know, everything we say, all the vibrations we put out there, they resonate in the universe and we're karma people. We really do believe that, you know, putting positivity out there brings positivity in and shut up is definitely a negative. negative. And we, Big negative. we don't need that in our spheres. So if it slips out, which is a very rare occasion, we pull it out of the universe, but we also pull other things out of the universe too. Like, if there's anything you say that like is just like yeah. wrong, like and a swear word, yeah, we try and keep the cursing down. Just keep it polite and nice at home. You know? Yeah, even if you have a really just like directed, you swear. know, bad feeling about someone and you're mad at them and you want to like say something negative about them, like if I say it, there's a better then I have way to, to say pull it. it out of the, the universe because I don't really want that thing to happen <laughs> to that person. And I think another thing that's just a little thing you can do, and even if it's once a week, it doesn't have to be every day, but in this scenario where we're all at this work from home zone and you can't get out and it also really applies and you know we try and do it like once maybe every two weeks or a month when we were not in this scenario but just surprise your partner you know what they like there's a reason you're with them there's a reason even if you have a roommate you know what your roommate likes you live with them you know like do something they just wouldn't expect it doesn't have to be huge you don't have to roll out the red carpet with like 
a show pony that Hannah can ride around the house. Or, you know, but it doesn't have to be balloons or a creepy clown. It can just be like one little thing, like, hey, I, like Hannah said, like, can I just make you this smoothie? Or just presenting that because you know the person needs it. Or like, you've been speaking about this movie all week, like, We're let's watch, watch it. it. Yeah. You know, like, tonight's your night. Like, I'm gonna cook for you tonight, babe. You don't have to do anything, and I'm gonna do the dishes, and I'm opening the bottle of wine. And I'm lighting the candles, and I started the fire. Whoa! That would be a nice night. <laughs> when I wake up in the morning, Brendan's usually out of bed already, and when I come downstairs, the hot water is already hot in the teapot because he knows that I like to make something warm first thing in the morning with hot water, which is so sweet. And sometimes, like, you know, when I'm going to bed, I notice that Brendan's water bottle is empty so I just take it downstairs and I fill it up when I'm filling up mine and I bring it up and he has a full water bottle like these are just really small little things but it's all I, part of yeah like I want Brendan to be hydrated and I it's on my mind so I'm just gonna do it I don't need I don't need Brendan to remember to hydrate himself he's a boy he's not gonna remember to do that like it's okay I'm just gonna do it for him like hey, those are the things I want to do you I can know remember how to babe I brought you your water bottle <laughs> at when you were working out today you had no water it's with true. you yeah and it all goes back to situational awareness yeah it's like you know what the situation is you know how you'd like to feel in a situation so if you could just replicate that for your partner your friend your parents you know, do something nice for your parents. They've done so many nice things for you in life. If you're at home right now, yeah. living with your parents, like... Have a date night with your mom at home. Yeah. Cook her dinner. Watch your dad's favorite movie, you know. Take him for a walk. Well, look at his know. old photos. <laughs> Hear a story you've heard a thousand times. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> tell him to tell you a couple jokes that you never heard, which you've heard a million times. <laughs> um, definitely get out and exercise. It's something we love. It's just good for your mental health. We love cooking, enjoying the fruits of your labor. It's good for the soul. Good for the soul. And yeah, there's never been a better time to love the person you're with because you're in really tight quarters and you got to figure out how to make that balance work. So keep it together. We're going to do our best. Stay here. I got you a seashell. I think it's pretty cute. <laughs> and yeah, that's it. As you guys know, Sundays are for lovers for us, but every day is for lovers. Yeah. You just gotta make it your own and find the love, rehash it every day. Tell yourself that when you wake up. You'll do it. This is really cute. So cute, right? All right. Madame. Pure love connection. Wow, yeah. Okay. Anything else? Um, no. I agree. Alright. Okay. Let's get out of here.